Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here we got us just straight raw image. Um, it's a bit flat. It was a cloudy day. Um, I'm in the develop uh, module up here, this one. And so let's try some stuff, some sort of extreme things. Let's let's go to start off the shadows and highlights, and we'll push those all the way down, brighten up the shadows. Yank down the highlights so it's flatter than ever. Then let's push the exposure right up so it's whiter and flatter. But then we can whack the black point up. That's kind of bringing it back. And if we bring the brightness down. Now this is looking a, a bit more interesting. What if we turn the contrast up? Yeah, adds a bit of mood. Clarity kind of sharpening. Go on, let's make it grungy. Uh, saturation. What we can do here is if we pull Vibrance down, that gives me more scope to push the saturation up. Oh, this is kind of getting more interesting, just as a fun pick. So what we'll do here is we'll play around with the overlays. And for this, you've got two types here. We've got a brush overlay and a gradient overlay. So let's do the brush overlay. Nothing much seems to happen, but if we go back to our adjustments here, they've all sort of gone back to zero because now we can paint in these things. So what we've got here is a brush. All right, see so that says plus. It shows I'm going to paint that. And uh, so let's go and do a paint. I'll put in a bit of light. I'll reduce the brush size, the left square bracket, and I'm going to paint down here. Turn off that edge away because that kind of does the edges of the thing, so it's going to get a smoother thing. So I'm going to assume there's going to be a bit of light down here. I'll put a bit of light down here, then the corner there, and a bit into the edge of this path here. See, it paints in red because I haven't done anything yet. The moment I change it, however, there you go, see, so that brings that up there, so I can now start adding that adjustment. So I can just keep on doing this, so let's add another one. So another brush layer, back to the square one. So we'll do darks on this, so we'll do a bit more shadow. So I'll paint over here. When you're painting with this, by the way, the more you paint, even if you don't take your Keep your finger on the mouse, it just get, builds up and up and up. So a little bit of dark there. And sort of like down the middle here, just a little bit of softness over that. And uh, that needs a little bit there. And I'll put some darkness into the wall here and a little bit into that. So there we go. So now all I do is turn the exposure down and I've got a bit of darkness coming into that. So I've got some sort of appearance of, of light over that. I could even go back to the light one and add a little bit more. Let's put the edge aware on and just do a little bit of light into these areas here. Yeah, as if light's coming onto there, maybe onto the edge of things here. Uh, a bit much to go back off that. Just a little bit here. And then we can go back and turn that light down a bit so there's a bit of it but not lots of it. Okay, so you get the idea. You can do more of this as you need. Yeah, I can fiddle all day long. So what else I'm going to do? Let's go to the gradient overlay. So in the gradient here, there's, again, there's not much in the way of lots of things up here, but there is type. And let's go down and do an elliptical one. And so when I start doing that, I'm going to paint, get an ellipse over the top of this thing here. So I'll stretch that up so it covers. And also, if you notice in here, that little line there, if I bring this in, this softens it. So it means I'm going to drag that out to make sure it covers it a bit more. 
I can go outside the picture just to stretch the whole thing. But as you can see there where well, that's going to cover it. So now I'm going to go down here and whack the exposure right up. What am I doing? It's because I'm going to go back to overlays here, go back to the original master and turn the exposure down. Ah, and now because I'm turning this down, I'm turning everything instead of going this dark, the that bit overlaid that remains light. Now I've added a bit more character to it. And just for a bit more fun, let's go to the white balance here and we can play around with this. And let's, yeah, let's turn it up. Maybe not all the way. Is that about enough? There we go. So there we go, that's our finished picture. And there's the original. So we've gone this one to this one. It's changed it quite a lot. What I would do also typically with these is go back over it and start turning things down again. And say, no, well, maybe that's a bit too much. So turn the, you know, for example, if we're on the master, I might go a bit saturated. Let's turn that down. Yeah. So maybe, eh, maybe up there a bit. So there's a bit of, bit of color, but not quite so strong and so on. So there we go. A very quick edit in the develop persona shows how much you can change a picture with just a few strokes and using those overlays. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.